I absolutely love working with the kids. There's something fun and organic about it because everything is new and this for a lot of them is their first experience in orchestra. Coming into the program I think a lot of the kids are a little self-conscious and shy about playing and, and it's hard for them to figure out their purpose, their place in an ensemble and by the end when we're performing together and making music as one, you can just see how proud of themselves they are. Today we're going to learn about an organization that has been providing young people in Charlottesville and surrounding counties with a symphony orchestra education for more than 40 years. Join us as we visit Don Brubaker and Chuck West, conductors for youth orchestras of Central Virginia. Come on. Chuck, tell us about the different programs and the opportunities that are offered by the orchestra. Well, there's this, the senior orchestra, which is the one I conduct, that has kids all the way up to senior in high school. There's Don's orchestra, which is some high school people, some middle school people, and of course that's all auditioned. And then there's the junior strings, which Alicia um, Tobin does, and then we have a flute ensemble and a clarinet ensemble. James Tobin, Alicia's husband, does a great job with the clarinets and, and uh, Angela uh, Kelly does the flutes. There are so many budding musicians out there who need a place to play, and that's why I do it. I do it because I believe in the power of what this kind of learning can do, and I think we stretch them and we push them, and we're not afraid to ask for a lot. I play flute, so I'm a part of the Evans Orchestra, and I'm also a part of Flute Ensemble. School is my top priority, of course, but music is also very important to me. I mean, it's basically my whole life. It's what I do constantly, so I'm able to make time for it. <laughs> Don, tell us about the Evans Orchestra. So this is, you conduct the Evans Orchestra. Yeah, right? Yes, I do. The okay. Evans Orchestra is primarily geared to middle school students. Uh, we do have some high school kids. And, and this year we have a number of elementary kids. They were just ready by audition. They're, they're really good players. So what makes Evans Orchestra special is it's really the only opportunity uh, that students at this level have to play in a full orchestra. Yeah. And, it, and it's the first chance that um, when players winds and brass players get to play with strings and strings get to play with winds and brass. It's a very special experience. Very yeah, cool. and, and not something that the, the students necessarily will get in school. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. I love being in the Evans Orchestra because after each concert, you get to hear like the beautiful sounds that you made like on the CD. The auditions are r pretty hard. The music, there's a lot of shifting and really high notes, and it takes a lot. It takes a, a lot of hard work to perfect the pieces. I can remember the moment when I decided that I wanted to play cello. That was in middle school and um, I was sort of sitting right next to the cello section and I, I could feel the vibrations in my chest and I knew that I wanted to play an instrument that was that powerful yet so beautiful. This will be my fifth year with youth orchestras, but I did Evans before that, so it'll be my seventh year with the whole program. It's a great way to meet friends who go to other schools. Um, I actually met my two best friends in youth orchestra, and so it was really cool to be able to meet new people who go to different schools who are also really passionate about music like I am. So, beginning one. One. One of the 
great advantages that we have here in Charlottesville is that we do have Good, yes. Chuck West as our conductor. <laughs> okay, but I mean, let me just say, Chuck, that <laughs> I'm always impressed with the music that you pick because, like he said, he's not doing arrangements. I have to do arrangements at my level. Okay, very rarely am I able to do like the real score that Mozart wrote or Haydn because the students aren't ready for that. Right. But what happens at the youth orchestra level is that the students are playing the actual original manuscript, original pieces, like he said, that the National Symphony. But they Symphony would play if they were playing in a professional orchestra. Yes, exactly. They, yeah. exactly. they play right off of that. Yeah. Right. And so he does a masterful job of picking music that is at the appropriate level and he understands the strengths and the weaknesses of his orchestra. Dr. West is an amazing conductor and an amazing musician, and he's giving you a dose of the professional world, and um, no matter how tired you might be or how much homework you had the night before, Dr. West is expecting improvement from the rehearsal before, and he's expecting camaraderie, so um, really good relationships between all of the players. He just makes youth orchestra really enjoyable year after year, and he picks great music. He does reuse the same jokes, but that's okay because they're, they're still funny. <laughs> When I went to Allstate Band, there were a bunch of tubas who would make fun of me for liking to play in the orchestra because they, they said, well, you never get to play. And it's like, well, the, one time, the times that you do get to play, it's not just bass parts. It's actually interesting being in an orchestra and actually having like experience as, not, as the only tuba player has made me realize that I have a potential in music and that's why I'm studying it in college. When you really think about what kids do in school, they take a math class and they get a 94 on a test and it's an A and so they're doing very well. In what we do, if they do 94% of the notes right, it's a messy performance. Oh. <laughs> and so in, in our world, the standard is really perfection. Circle that for practice. Go on, letter D. One. You have other instructors One. who help here. So James Tobin, talk about his role. Yes, so, so James is a professional clarinetist and teacher and uh, has a very large studio and has pretty much transformed clarinet playing as far as our students are concerned. In Central Virginia. In Central Virginia. So Fantastic. he is a, is a wonderful teacher and uh, came to us with this idea a few years ago of starting a clarinet ensemble and so he leads that and you know the, the kids just learn an awful lot from him. And then you have um, Bob Yes, and, and then it takes a lot of work to help the, the kids at this level learn the music well. So I have mm -hmm. a WINS coach, his name is Bob Dunnenberger, right. and, and Bob also teaches in school and then helps me out here on Monday evenings. He's going to cut you off. Prep three, one. Bop, 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 bop. Good, but come in strong. I have two children that are in youth orchestra and they recognize that week in, week out that the conductors and their peers in the orchestra are counting on them to have their parts prepared and to play their best. So we really enjoy that it instills that sense of responsibility in our kids as well. These children are going to grow up and they're going to be the adults in our community and they're going to be the ones helping the fine arts programs flourish. And so I feel like the youth orchestra really plays a, an important role in that, in cultivating that with the young students and just building that culture and continuing it growing. Two, a one. Uh, 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 uh. Good, hey, it's getting better. Do a lot of the participants go on to play professionally or to become musical educators? Many of them do. A former principal cellist has been in the top three in some of the major symphonies in auditions. He's going to get a major job. He's now with the New World Symphony down in, in Miami. Oh, wow. We, we have a bunch of people like that. That is so yeah. fantastic. I mean, I mean, it is a place where they can you know, really stretch, grow, form relationships. Um, they need it. They, yeah, they, exactly. They really do. They, they need the, the extra opportunity. They, they need the challenge. Yeah. You know? The other thing that we offer is a concerto competition. Hmm. So the best players get to audition 
right? And then the winners get to perform with the youth orchestra in, uh, is it the winter concert? Oh, the spring, the spring, spring concert. Con in the spring concert, the winners get to perform. So what a special thing. And I will make a little personal aspect of this is my, my daughter won the concerto competition and was able to play her piece with the youth orchestra and it's still a very special uh, experience. It, it's oh, a lot yeah. of the kids that have done that keep writing back to me and saying, wow, that was, that was a very cool thing. The other thing is that that satisfies their need for a competition because mm -hmm. I, I'm really adamant about chair placement is not a competition. I, I put them together for reasons and so that we build a team rather than Again, then the, have the a competition where, where the worst person sitting in the back chair and the best person sitting in the front chair and everybody looks and say you're terrible because you're because you're six feet this direction and, oh, and three like, feet that direction. Great. It's ridiculous. One, two, and one. Students also play outside as well. They'll play First Night Virginia, yes. they'll play at Monticello mm -hmm. during the tours, yeah. set up and play in the parlor. Yeah, these, these are opportunities for small ensembles, like duets or quartets, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. well this is great work you're yeah. doing. Thank you for taking yeah. time to tell us about thank you. it. Thank you, well, thank you for inviting us. I think the best thing about being part of the youth orchestra is again uh, making new friends, meeting new people who have the same interests with me, and playing with some really incredible musicians. I like just being able to make a sound. Like music is like almost like a language. I mean, music is my passion. It makes me happy. Music is the kind of thing that you can only get to the point where you can make something beautiful after you put the hours in, and that's something that you can apply to anywhere.